Beauty slippers. These? You want me to wear these? This is a joke. These aren't going to work for me. Where, where'd you get these? Like the dollar store? <laughs> How about these? Now that's what I'm talking about. These will do the trick. All right, if you're looking for a pair of snorkeling or diving um, fins, what do you want to look for? Well, this is not a big, long, extensive uh, review about that. I'm not even going to tell you which ones to buy. The reason I'm not is because that changes kind of every year. So our website, sportconsumer.com, does have a lot more information about what to look for when you're buying um, fins and specific recommendations for you. But I'm just going to give you like a quick you know, minute long summary of what to look for and what's out there. So first of all, what you have is a, clo a split fin and traditional. These are traditional uh, fins. It's not, there's no split down the center. Now there's pros and cons to everything. So the traditional ones allow you uh, to maneuver quickly, accelerate quickly, do a lot of things, probably a little more, I guess you could use the term nimbly. Um, the split fin, it's kind of a newer thing on the market and what they do, they're kind of engineered technically after a dolphin's fin and just to cut to the chase, they help in that for each stroke of your leg, you're not, you don't have to push as hard to get the same propulsion. So they're better for propulsion, but that's about it. You won't be able to do qu as quick turns. Um, and just maneuvers all around, all right? So that's, I'm putting it simply, I'm simplifying it. I'm maybe not hitting on everything uh, about both styles, but you don't even really need to know that if you're just basically looking for uh, something to begin with. Now, the other thing I wanna keep in mind is that there are open-toed and closed-toed. These happen to be pretty much closed-toed. There's a little bit of a, 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 a slit here, but that's not an open toe. Open-toed versus closed, um, generally speaking, open are not going to give you as much of a snug fit, obviously, because a part of your foot is not even touching it, all right? Your toes are sticking out of the actual boot part. And so what that does is it allows you, on the one hand, to put um, insulated socks or something like that um, for if you're in the ocean, for example. If, uh, if you want to be warmer, obviously, you can wear the open toed and that, that allows for like a wetsuit or something like that. Um, the closed don't really. All right, so there's different environmental scenarios that you're gonna wanna use one or the other. Um, uh, most people have these. Most people have the closed toed, unless they're really sort of recreational. Uh, you can get some really inexpensive ones, I think that are open toed. But for most people, I would suggest this style, uh, unless you are uh, a serious, um, deep sea, cold weather uh, type of a, um, you know, um, adventurer, then you can maybe look at the open toe. So those are a couple of really, really, really uh, quick, short items of summary when you're looking for snorkel fins. One final item to consider in this very short video is um, that if, you ha if you're gonna go into really, really cold water, you can probably expect your fins to shrink a little bit more from what you may have experienced when you were in the store. So that's a really, really important consideration. Uh, you don't wanna waste your money on something that's not quite right for you in your conditions. That was just a really, really quick summary on uh, what things to look for in a snorkeling fin. If you guys want to get way more information before you actually spend your money, you can check out sportconsumer.com. We've got a whole section on snorkel fins. Just go there and just search for um, snorkel fins. But don't leave YouTube just yet. Instead, check out some of these other really, really creative and highly entertaining videos put out by moi. And uh, I will give you a great big thank you. And if this has been at all useful or even mildly entertaining, please do give me a like. Subscribe just for fun. You're not going to get lots of notifications, but, you know, we would uh, appreciate your patronage. And we will gladly put out lots more videos, all right? Thanks for checking us out. We will talk to you next time.